image from anywhere but what's really important though is that you keep it the same size in terms of dimensions um, so like this is 32 by 32 pixels and this is 64 by 64 pixels like I just know these because I just edited them but at the same time it's like you gotta keep note of that when you wanna edit any image that you have in order to change it to that you have to shrink it down or expand it or make it work within those parameters so keep that in mind so don't grab an image that's like 400 by 400 and then shrink it down because it's not gonna be the same you know like the most I would say is like 60 by 60 shrinking it down you know like that's kinda like what I would say before you start losing the integrity of the image you know but in terms of that, like, if you would go over to one of my wanted views, BTV, nah, Fang of Vogue, so then Swords, um, Fang of Vogue, I think I already have the Fang of Vogue copied to my clipboard, I'm not certain, no, I just changed it, yeah. So yeah, like, I mean, you can grab it from here, you can open image, and then new tab, and you can copy it from there, not save, I click save accident. You can also copy it from there, it doesn't matter, you can scroll down, it should be down there, nope, it's not down there, ooh, that's a sick picture kind of but mine is sicker mine is definitely sicker like what like bro these guys are shit bro like yo hold up hold up like no 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 that's beef bro like yo i i take better pictures than that bro i could have showed you a oh i could have showed you a much better fang of vlog picture steam doesn't want to open for me hold up guys like i gotta stop this bro i actually gotta stop this video and just show you guys this sick ass screenshot i took the other day um it's supposed to be in where are my screenshots anyways should be in spiral nights spiral night screenshots screenshots like hold up bruv like these guys want the fang of vlog screenshots like yo what do you know about this bro like what oh no that one's shit i won't talk that banger bro oh that's clutch oh that's clutch hold up bro you got a you got a flaming chimp bro flaming chimp like <laughs> oh oh no oh 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 and is this what the oh no this is what the masquerade feel like bro i'm getting carried away bro like you know these guys should have hired me for their photo shoot but anyways i copied the image that i want to use the fang of vlog so i'm going to go back into paint.net and i'm going to open up the image which i want to use so actually i didn't even need to do it that way i could have just simply after installing the program i can just open with so you'd go to open with whichever one you want to use and you click paint.net that way you know that you're editing the file directly However, what I recommend that you guys doing before you get into this is making a brand new folder on your desktop, you know, name it cursor, and then simply pop the originals back in there just in case you ever want to revert back to them or something like that, they're just there, you know. So with that being said, you have your cursors, put it wherever you want it so that you have the originals to go back to whenever you like. Now with that being said, I'll go back to editing this. So I mean, this is quite tiny, you can't really deal with the pixels as well as you want to. However, you can zoom in by holding control and scrolling up, okay? And from there you can pretty much get a much better, like, workspace in terms of being able to edit pixel per pixel. Um, I like Avira, Avira's pretty good, but yeah, like, I'm just gonna remove everything in here. You can select it and click delete, or you can use the eraser tool, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna select it and click delete, it's quicker. Um, and then I'm gonna paste in that Fang of Vogue. Now what happens is that since this image is larger than the original canvas size, aka the original dimensions of the first image, it's going to ask you if you want to expand the image, I mean expand the canvas slash the workspace in order to accommodate the size of the image that you want to post, or do you want to keep the original canvas size from that image that you're editing? And you want to click keep canvas size because you don't want to make um, that any bigger. It may cause incompatibility issues, I'm not 100% certain, but I mean, just don't, like real, just, just don't. Ew. Ew. That does not look good. But of course it's going to look like that when it's blown up. When you zoom out it'll look different. But I mean, even from like a regular standpoint, it's like the Arcana, you can still see some of the features in terms of like the gun pointing. This Fang of Vogue doesn't look like it's pointing that well, but it's okay. Um, I'll keep it like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to magic wand tool the outside so I just have the, the fog blade. Um, so what you guys want to do, if you want to do it that way, magic wand tool is this guy right over here. Um, if I click delete, it should be a decent job. It may get rid of that though. I don't want that. I, I kind of want this. I want all that. This stuff can be removed over here. Hmm. Let me just delete and see what we got left. All we got is a tip, which is interesting. And then when you scroll out, you're left with the tip of a fang of fog. Could I live with that? Yes, I could. If I do it like that. Oh, no. 
that's so much better. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bother magic wand tooling yet. Some of them looks better with the magic wand tool afterwards, you know what I mean? Like some of it has like some ugly background. But this one looks kinda decent because the orange and the yellow contrast is with the darker background. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Um if it was like a darker weapon and then it kinda like blends in then and eh, you'd wanna remove it, you know? So then it would be like mixing with the blue UI of the inventory and stuff. Um, when you're like actually selecting things in the trade like that is different you know like that's when you'd want to use a magic wand tool to remove the excess um, like filler pixels on the outside of the actual weapon or whatever you want to use like you can use anything pretty much like I just decided to use a weapon something SK related just for the video and also because I like the thing of Vogue you know you guys saw my video FOV you know killing everyone like <laughs> but yeah with that being said all you gotta do is pretty much save it when you're finished editing um and then from there, after, well, make sure that you save the defaults to a folder so that you can always go back to them. But yeah, all you'd have to do really is just save it, Control S, and it will save over the original in that folder. So you can keep all this the same, and it'll auto detect the bit depth. Like all that is fine. You can click OK, um, and then from there, if I were to close this, then it's like, ooh, Gurren Lagan. I like that background. But yeah, if I were to open up my Steam now or my Spiral Knights. It should be a Fang of Vogue. Well, it will be a Fang of Vogue for my select. So when I want to select a knight or something like that, it will change my FOV. So as you can see, here's a Fang of Vogue. Here's an Arcana. Here's a Fang of Vogue. Here's an Arcana. Fang of Vogue. Arcana. Fang of Arcana. You know? <laughs> and now I'm going on Ben. But yeah, what I want to do is I want to flip it over so that it's pointing towards the left. Like, you see how this is pointing towards the right? I want it pointing towards the left like this. You see what I mean? But it's not bad, it's not horrible. Um, hmm. That's alright. And if anything, I wouldn't even mind using like the Phantom Mist, the Rift Locker, and the. Oh, wow, the Arcana. Because then, then if, you, if I were to make it flip towards the left and make everything like the Arcana, then it'll just be changing colors, but like the base would stay the same. Like, you know, Valiance, Rift Locker, Arcana, Phantom Mist are all the same base. So it's like, it'll just be the color theme that changes. Like, the transition between different cursor styles wouldn't be as dramatic you know and I don't mind this it's not like erratic or dramatic right now but I mean you do notice a little shift and it's kind of good to be able to dis distinguish the two you know like one is select one is um, like a default cursor and then the other one is gonna be like your typing you know um, but I mean besides that it's like you can have fun editing it and making um, Spiral Knights a little bit more custom to what you'd like so to go over everything um, in terms of like quick instructions, step one, go into your original Spiral Knights folder, how to edit your cursor, it's plain and simple. Spiral Knights cursor, go into um, your original RSRC folder in your Spiral Knights directory, and then you go to UI, then you go to cursor, you find it, after you download that paint program, you would go into it, um, and you'd open with you know paint.net the program which I told you to get now for the arrow I use the same arrow and I edited it a bit so like I want to cut this put it on the desktop and I'll show you guys how I edited that that's Simon and then that is with his ting that he got at the end after he kicked some the final boss's ass like I forgot her name bro like that's sad what was her name again like holy shit you know what that's sad like I don't care point is if you guys come over here now I can show you how I changed the um, original colors in it. So like, if I were to go ahead and get the original, okay. So yeah, if I were to go see the original, and I would just copy it and I'll bring it over back into that um, folder. I could also be using half and half windows. That would be speeding things up a bit, but I don't really care. Like everything is quick with an SSD, you know. I'm looking for cursor and then I'll paste it back here so like if I were to open this up with paint.net I'll show you guys how I edited my cursor like of course you can change it all together but what I decided to do was work with this original so you know you have the white around here then you have this so what I decided to do was remove that white and then keep this um, as the actual color so like if you were to use your paint tool quite easily you can fill up different um, portions of the image so like I can make that black I can make that gray with this I can make it black I can make it pretty much anything I'll keep it at black okay 
if I want this one black I can make that black I can make everything blue like that's different you know now if I actually want to be serious about things like let me just undo everything um where is oh I feel that these guys really hate me right now they truly do I magic wanded like most of that and then I edited the colors via the interior and then this and that separately so what happened is that right now it's selecting this as a whole but before I was able to distinguish this part from that part in order for me to edit that you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna close this don't save and I'm just gonna grab the original arrow open with well no I'm gonna copy this first paste that over there and replace it okay so like what I'm showing you guys is that before I was able to edit this with a lot more accuracy in terms of the paint tool because as you can see this doesn't have that border around it and then I was able to go in pixel by pixel edit each square you see like I have a yellow square here yellow square I have a pink square with an orange line like everything is symmetrical and planned out and then this is just black around here then it got blue on the outside. I was trying to make a Pokeball theme, but I couldn't make this white. Now I can make this white, but it might mess with the outside. Um, let me just see. If I were to paint tool, right click. Technically, I can make it white like a Pokeball now. Um, do I want to do that, though? No, I don't, because I like the red and blue. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, but like you guys can go into the same program. You could tinker around with this. You know, you can change the colors of it. Um, and then you can go inside there, and you can do the same thing. Um, if I want to make that that I can make that that if I want to make this <laughs> green I can just do the same thing around there so I mean it's pretty much up to you guys like I just decided I like I'm happy with what I already have I'm happy with this plain old design um, it's not even that bad though it's quite it's quite nice I like it it's just a basic cursor you know blue and red but you guys can do anything you want you could paste a different image of the same 64 by 64 dimensions you can choose to edit it by using the paint tool um, you can magic wand tool around it when you're done if you, in case you have that white edging because what happened to me oh yeah definitely that's important if you guys get this like a white image around it that's when the magic wand tool is also important because if you have this in spiral knight it's going to show the white around it as well you know um, and you don't want that you want it to be transparent via the magic wand tool so what you would do is you'd simply click on the white with the magic wand tool and then it would select everything around like a highlight um, all this and then it would remove it after you click delete or backspace okay and that's pretty much how you can edit pre-existing um, PNG files within the SK directory okay so you can always choose to either find one um, of the same dimensions or different dimensions and make it fit the dimensions and then you can edit it from there or you can just edit the original like I could also plain and simple just go back into cursor like it should be up here by now I access it that many times if I were to edit this one I could change my basic text to something more flashy like a different color I could simply go in here I could select what color would I want the cursor like blue my favorite color but green wouldn't look bad Think about where you normally use your cursor, Haven, Clockworks, the color yellow would blend in with Haven too much, your red would be good, Vanna would still kind of blend in, I mean, if anything closer on the red spectrum is like ideal in terms of contrast and not blending in too much, but I mean, you don't really need to see the this, as long as you know it's there, you'll hear like a little ding when you actually, you know, press enter if you have the UI volume high enough, but yeah, like I'll just make it red, and then just use the paint tool and I like a fill that in red. Um, I can even make around here different colors too, like yellow, yellow, I can make it blue, blue, like it's soft. Um, but yeah, like pretty much I can change this, I'll, I'll just keep it red, screw it, and then I can save that as the original. By using Control S, if I were to open up SK again, um, let's just go with Sparrow Knights. Then it will show that it has been changed. Wait. I didn't close it, did I? I don't think I closed it. I don't think I closed it. No, I don't think I closed it, did I? I don't recall quitting SK. I'm not even certain. I don't think I did quit SK. I'm just gonna relaunch it, cause that was quick. Like I didn't, I didn't have to log in. Yeah, I never logged in. I slept at night, so yeah. Okay, so let's reboot SK. 
Um, and then I'll show you guys. Like, I don't even think you'll notice much of a difference. Like, did I did I click it? Yeah, I did. Wow, that was the longest time it's ever taken to boot. Like, I've never seen it take that long. <laughs> and actually, had me question if I clicked it. Like, that's hilarious. Okay. SK don't bug out on me. Sometimes SK likes to be a dick, but like it does for everyone. I mean, you guys know how it is in terms of the Steam servers and SK. <laughs> but yeah, like I think it may want a good shot on me. Like that's off. We already know what the result is. Um, it results in the image being changed to the color which you edited because all it is is Sparrow Knights is reading the files in the directory. So if you change the color of it, it'll read that. It'll read the color that you put yeah it wants to fuck me over whatever and then it will simply apply that in game so like since i've selected red it'll be a red cursor um so yeah like i mean i'll just simply restart sk i mean restart steam like if anything it's probably just a server issue could be like i don't know i'm not worried about that like you guys seen like how it works pretty much like i showed you guys exactly what you need to do the precautions that you need to take in, in in terms of like you know saving the originals to a folder so if you like fuck it up you can just paste them back over you know like always make sure that you guys save it i'll put all the steps in the description um but yeah like hopefully you guys can take this apply it and have fun with your sk like i have an arcana just chilling there you know what i mean i got a bunch of people spamming <laughs> okay and then yeah ben just logged in so it was a server issue but yeah as you guys can see like it's red here and then um, it's like white on the ends, which is kind of neat, you know, I don't mind that. And it should also be in the mail section, I believe. Like if I were to compose mail, yeah, it's red. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I shall be sure to continue uploading more useful and I would say unique videos because I think that everyone needs to have a chance to enjoy this game, you know. And it's kind of starting to die out, so I'm trying to give this game a bit of life, you know. I'm trying to get some more action going on in lockdown, I'm trying to get some more things just popping in general, you know. Of course, I'll be playing other games, like I started posting up, watching McCall Evolve 2, you know. I've been playing some Deadpool and stuff. I've been playing other games for sure, but it's like, I'm really trying to bring some life back to um, SK. So, yeah, hopefully I hit that 1K sub mark, you know by the end of summer but I'm not I'm not really like worried about that right now I'm just trying to get this content out there and show you guys that you know there's still some things that you can do <laughs> just a few things to make your experience a little bit more enjoyable and yeah bro of course I'll give you some tips and tricks for LD I'll message you in game if I can figure out your name but right now you look like one of those guys from 101 Dalmatian so it'll be kinda hard to find you I might have to go look um go to my local pet shelter and ask them around for a Maxime Bernier but Besides that, it's all good. So, peace out, YouTubers. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>